Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be unboxing a Nintendo DS from Japan today, and what makes this very cool is the size of it. This thing is absolutely tiny. No doubt this would have come from a gacha machine in Japan, which is where I found this thing on an auction site. I used Sendico, the link will be in the description. This DS is absolutely minuscule. As you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand, but what's really cool about it is the level of detail. Now here is actually a full-size original Nintendo DS, which is also the Japanese version. You've got to remember the box will be slightly different depending on where you purchased a DS in the world, and this packaging is the Japanese one. So you've got that sort of double screen logo. I don't know why I'm showing you on the tiny one. You've got that double screen logo, and then it said Nintendo DS, and on the back it had a big picture of the DS, and then Nintendo DS along the side, and the exact same thing is on this little tiny one. And how cute is that? I mean, it's just amazing to me that no matter where you look at this thing, everything is absolutely identical, even to the point where they're including little things like this, the RSA secured logo, and even on the bottom, pretty much every single little bit of detail is there. Okay, the barcode's missing, and there's a few little, uh, logos here that are also missing but for the most part everything else is there and it's just incredible even the part here where it says for sale and use in japan only commercial use and rental prohibited that is also on this box so it's just such a cool thing but i've got no idea what to expect actually inside this box so what we're going to do is open up the original nintendo ds here from japan and see what it comes with and then we can compare it to the little miniature one and see what that one comes with so let's Let's open this up. I'm not sure if this one is completely how it would have been uh, back in the day because this is a, obviously a secondhand thing from about 20 years later. But let's just pull all of the stuff out. So there's a little tray here. Oh, there we go. It's even got all of the paperwork and stuff, which is cool. So here's the, uh, the little manual for picto chat and stuff, which is cool. You've got the Club Nintendo leaflet, and then you've got your uh, your guide there as well. That's got the serial number on the back. I wonder if that matches. Oh, we can't actually tell because the serial number has rubbed off on this one. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's all of the stuff. Oh, there's also the lanyard and there would have been a charger in there too. For the most part, that looks as though it's coming with most of the things. So it'll be interesting to see what comes in this tiny little box. So let's zoom in the camera. Okay, so let's unbox the Nintendo DS for a hamster and see what's inside of it. This is so cute. I've also got something else to show you as well after this, which is another miniature Nintendo DS. So let's see what comes inside here. Okay, cool. So there's actually a little plastic bag that I can see on there, which is cute. That is nice to see. And there would have been a plastic bag on the original Nintendo DS, I'm sure. Um, okay, so there we have it. Right, and is there anything else in the box? No, there's not. Okay, so let's have a look at this tiny little DS. Oh, wow. This is just adorable. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Does it open? Is there a game in there? Does the game come out? No, okay. So there's a Game Boy Advance game in the bottom, but it doesn't look as though that comes out. There's a small sticker on the back as well which pretty much looks exactly the same as the original Nintendo DS one does. And you can see as well where the battery cover is. They've included that, where all of the little screw covers are and the little uh, the holes there as well for the other screws. They are all there. The little cutout for the stylus. Unfortunately, no stylus comes out. But what is really cool, just the attention to detail, is that similarly to the Game Boy Advance cartridge, the stylus is actually painted in a different color. There is a lanyard that comes with this little miniature DS, but it's ever so slightly different to the original Nintendo DS one. I find it so funny that they, that they included these lanyards back in the day. They've even got the, the L and R buttons as well, which is incredible. I'm really excited to open this thing up. The charging port there is actually recessed right the way down in there. I mean, that molding is just, it's just so good. They've even got the Nintendo DS cartridge, again, in a slightly different color gray as well. I mean, honestly, the attention to detail on that is just excellent. Look at that. Japan is just so good. They are so clever. Okay, so look, it does actually open up. I'm excited to see that. 
There's a little Nintendo logo there as well, which is actually chrome and shiny like the original one is too. There's even all of the corresponding lines on the hinge as well. They are all exactly the same. You've even got the volume slider on the bottom in that slightly lighter gray as well. And over here, there is another port for your headphones. There's even actually a piece of text there that says Nintendo DS, and that is even included on the bottom of this tiny little thing. Moment of truth, what's the inside like? Let's flip it open. It's absolutely identical. They've got the little speaker holes, the tiny screw cover as well. The fact that the screen is shiny and actually not just like printed onto the top, it's recessed underneath a piece of plastic, which means that it actually has some depth to it. So, it. so it looks like it's an actual screen. You can see that it's really, really cool. Same on the bottom one too. There's a, a load of little tiny buttons as well. They're all the different colors that the Nintendo DS buttons are, the two slightly lighter gray ones down there. The start and select is there as well. Even the LED indicators and the, the microphone as well. That is just so good. Look at how beautiful that is. Such a cool little thing. Okay, I'm gonna zoom this camera out and now I'm gonna show you the other thing I found in Japan. That just shows how small it is there. What a beautiful little thing. Okay, so let me show you this other thing that I found because it is really damn cool and perhaps has a little bit more of a practical application. This is the mini DS Lite card holder, which was actually licensed by Nintendo. Again, this was a Japanese thing. I've never seen it before in the UK, I certainly would have absolutely loved one of these as a kid. And I have made a YouTube short about this, uh, but I had a black one and I managed to find a blue one, again, on Sendico as well. So let me just show you how this works. So it's a little bit bigger than the, the small DS original that we have here. It has got that lanyard too, except this one actually has more detail. You can see it has the Nintendo logo that's on the lanyard, which is really damn cool, similar to this one. Uh, as you can see there. Really, really love that attention to detail. On the back as well, it pretty much has all of the same things. You've got the cutout. The detail on this is perhaps not as high. I mean, this was obviously uh, made to actually serve a purpose. So they have got different information here, like the company that manufactured it and whatnot. Their website as well, tenyo.co.jp. I'll be surprised if that's still going, but maybe it is. They have got the Game Boy Advance cut out on the bottom. They've got the headphone hole there too, as well as the volume slider. On the side, they have got the power slider and a cutout for where the stylus is, and it even says power on the actual shell, which is cool. On the top, we're gonna have to move this cardboard out of the way, which I'll do in a second. The charging port is missing, so that's one thing that is missing, but the little lanyard string is obviously there. And on this side, there's absolutely nothing. And on the top, there's just that double rectangle. They have got the two little LED holes as well, which is a nice little bit of detail. And then obviously we saw the inside, it has got all of the buttons. They don't press down or anything like that, which is a bit of a shame, but that would have just been really complicated to have done. But they all stand and nice and proud and they have the, the correct text on them and whatnot. Start and select written on the shell as well. They have all the cutouts for the screw holes and the microphone. Again, it's just such a great amount of detail. Unlike this tiny little small one, this is a sticker on the front that is actually on the top. It's not covered by another bit of uh, plastic. But what does this one do? Well, it is a cartridge holder, as it said on the box there. So what you do is you can slide in your cartridge. Now it's not just a slot, it actually has a mechanism to spring the cartridge in and out, pretty much exactly how it did on the Nintendo DS. You see how it goes in and out like that? This one has the exact same thing which is just so cool and it sounds so satisfying. But what makes this thing even cooler is when you have a second cartridge in the front, you actually see the design of the game label, which is just such a cool little detail. Obviously some are gonna probably work better than others. And if anything, it's slightly high. Perhaps they didn't mean to do that. It should have been a little bit lower. So it does expose a little bit of the, the, the cartridge underneath rather than all of the label, but it's still, you, you get the idea. It's such a nice little thing. What a beautiful array of objects. I absolutely love them. I think they're just such nice little things to have on a shelf. And 
the attention to detail is just great. So if you do find any of these items on Sendico, make sure you send me a tweet. Uh, but what a lovely little collection of things. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.